legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Momentum swung back towards pro-choice supporters as the state's Supreme Court put another temporary halt to a 24-hour abortion waiting period law. The law requires women to make two visits to a clinic before they can go forward with an abortion. It was in effect for one day last July before an injunction stopped it. The American Civil Liberties Union is one of the groups suing the state. They should not be forced to delay the procedure. They should not be forced to... Uh, undertake the additional costs and burdens of having to take more time off work. The law was on hold until February of this year when an appeals court reinstated it. Now the state Supreme Court has put the law on hold again. Planned Parenthood says the law has always been unnecessary. They say the uncertainty has put clinics and patients in limbo. From the beginning when the bill we received an injunction and then got overwritten, patients were coming in um, for scheduled appointments and being told you have to now come back tomorrow after a 24-hour mandatory delay from the state. Um, on Friday, when the Supreme Court ruled that it's no longer in effect, patients were in health centers across the state receiving um, treatment and then did not have to come back. State lawmakers who supported the legislation reacted with disappointment. Incoming House Speaker Richard Corcoran said in a statement that the court has allowed its personal political biases to grossly influence its constitutional role. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.